Hi, Maureen. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to be rude or anything, but it's been like almost a year since you've uploaded the day in the life of a marine biologist. Holy smokes, really? I mean, you know, I, I have a PhD and stuff. I've been so busy, it's, it's ridiculous. Right, PhD. I mean, it's not like we've been on lockdown for two months without anything to do and a lot of free time on our hands. Well, actually, I've been working in a COVID-19 test lab, which, you know, I'm pretty, pretty proud about. And uh, so I do that full time. And then uh, my, my clone, um, the other one, not, not you, um, the, the one who doesn't spend her days on Netflix, has been working full time on, uh, on my PhD. Okay, okay, look, if you tell me what this whole night in the life of a marine biologist thing is about, I'll edit it for you. How about that? Really? You'd do that? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's what clones are for, right? Oh, that's so sweet. Right, well, let's, let's do this then. I'll just... I'll just tell you what it's about. Are these Christmas pants? Oh, <laughs> nah, nah, no, no, they're, um... Will you have a problem with Christmas? Right. Should we, um, should we do this? Right, sounds good. Let's do this. Just stay, you know, stay where you are, like two meters away, that's, that's good. Okay. Right, so the previous video, Night in the Life of a Marine Biologist, which I'll, uh, you know, I'll put the link somewhere, somewhere in the video. I, I, I don't actually know how to do that. But that one was about being on the RV CFAS Endeavor, which is, uh, which is a research vessel. And I was, uh, you know, talking about my night, actually, yeah, because I was waking up at, uh, at, at uh, 11.30 in the evening and working all night. So I, I kind of stopped in the middle because the title was Night in the Life of a Marine Biologist and, and the, the sun was rising. Um, so I guess this this can be the day in the life of a marine biologist because that's, uh, you know, it's, it's past sunrise. All right, let's do this. So after a long night, starting work at midnight, deploying several zooplankton nets and rosette to collect seawater, Elisa Hayden and I are still up at sunrise, and we're finishing our shift when the rest of the boat crew wakes up. When the other researchers wake up, several other types of activities start. The marine mammal researchers start their shift on deck, looking out for dolphins and whales, and the fish researchers get ready to deploy the trawl and collect the fish. So no one is down for breakfast. I'm starving, so I'm definitely having breakfast. Breakfast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Breakfast, dinner, lunch. The main purpose of this survey was to collect small pelagic fish species like anchovy and sardines to better understand their ecology and also to check how abundant they are and whether or not fisheries is affecting them. To do that, we needed to search for these fish with an echo sounder. If we are actually in a transect, we would be really interested in fishing here so that we can actually collect the fish that we need for the research questions that we are interested in. 
we tried to go back where the backscatter was and then deployed the trawl there to catch fish. When the fish are brought back on board, they are sorted into species and all sorts of measurements are taken. Length, weight, sex. This allows us to get a good understanding of the health status of this population. Ah, here's... Mackerel, sardine, anchovy. I was really eager to get some fish for my work, so I took a few specimens and then sampled some fin clips. If you suddenly feel the urge to urinate, these toilets are particularly interesting. Oh, it's like 70 degrees Celsius in here. There are my gloves drying. Uh, there are the toilets. There's some machines that are currently overheating the place. I should probably keep that door open. I shall resume my DNA extractions and Hayden shall keep doing his zooplankton analysis. I'll be done very soon and I'll have to go play with some fish too. Uh, so I've now filmed the trawl and I checked the trawl. Lots of mackerel and anchovies and some sardines as well. And uh, I am back to my DNA extractions, which are not going anywhere at the moment. I've been kind of distracted by this filming. I'm usually more focused than that. Basically my research is what we call a validation. I know what the species are because we identified them visually and I want to test if my machine can identify them as well using DNA. This is a really exciting project because we're actually trying to identify the species using genetics in the field. That means we need to use a machine that is portable and we need to use methods that are quick and that can actually be performed in the context of a research vessel. This requires me to work in the lab for several hours, do some DNA extractions, and prepare my samples for a qPCR analysis. The qPCR then gives me some nice illustrative curves, and in an ideal world, each curve corresponds to a single species. And the work on the vessel proved that the method worked, even in super bad weather. So it's now, so, so it's now 4 p.m and it's the end of my night yeah it was a long night a night that finishes at 4 p.m and it's quite bright outside putting my alarm for 11 30 p.m so i better get to sleep now i hope you enjoyed this night in the life of a marine biologist good night